Welcome back to the Guild Wars 2 PvP how-to videos. Trying to keep keep them short, uh, under 10 minutes, I would say. <clears throat> okay, this video, part three, uh, is going to be about your build. <clears throat> um, the PVE builds will not necessarily do a good job for you in PvP. They, they actually don't work um, very well or at all. You'll probably die a lot if you just go in there with a PvE build, which works fantastic in PvE maybe. You know, you do a lot of damage and whatnot. Not gonna work here. So the, you, you want to have a specific PvP build for PvP and um, I borrowed this from an uh, from a um, from my other character so this is actually from the a uh, Guild Wars 2 uh, battle um, meta battle <laughs> that I was mentioning on the previous uh, video. Alright, so we're, I'm going to save this to my first template. So now we have the build, right? This is just like PvE. Um, spell breaker build, it says. I'm gonna rename this and I'm gonna call it just something I like to do PvP. You can rename these builds. And I like to do this because that way you, you can have on a separate uh, t um, build template. Uh, you can have a separate like PVE uh, build and then you can swap to your PVP build. And I like to label them PVP and what they do. Um, and of course it goes with the armor set. So we're going to rename this. And I name the same way. That's just a thing I like to do. Not really necessary for the how-to junk, but uh, here are my notes. So we talked about armor and weapons or equipment, I should say, PvP equipment on the previous video. Uh, so now here it says we're on an avatar amulet, uh, relic of the trooper. And rune of the soldier. And we want a dagger shield. We're gonna need a dagger. So talk to this guy like we talked about in the previous video, buy a dagger. And I know we're going to need a spear. Now if a harpoon I think is considered a spear, but we're gonna need it here. So dagger shield and let me see if I'm able to do this. Bring the spear and put it there. Yes, I am. Okay. Good. Back to the PvP equipment. Okay, so the dagger should have an energy. Energy sigil. And a shield and a sigil of savagery. Okay, and the spear will have a sick uh, transference and energy. I mentioned in the other video that energy is very popular. This is your endurance bar right here which allows you to dodge and uh, energy you gain 25% of your endurance when you swap to the weapon so there it is. Now I can't dodge anymore, as you know. 
but if you swap into this weapon makes makes you gain it faster so you can dodge better or dodge more and dodging is very important in pvp movement is very important in pvp uh, but okay we have now put together a build and that was the point of this video furthermore i would like to add on this video regarding your build personally when i try a new build um, I like to I'm addicted to PvP so I just play a lot play it a lot I don't really read too much uh, I get them from meta battle um, and there's a lot of explanation on there but I kind of don't read it the way I learn better is to actually just come in here and uh, and practice so I want to show you uh, you want to practice this build yeah I do a little bit of reading kind of want to know like the um, the combos um, but you want to come in here and you can practice against different professions so that was an elementalist there this gentleman is working on that uh, practicing on that here is uh, a mesmer and uh, across the bridge here there's a necromancer you can practice against there's a revenant you can practice against a guardian a, a warrior here on this side and then down below you've got a ranger over here that you can practice against uh, and an engineer okay it's important to practice against the different ones because you get to see what they do uh, like I said I uh, learn a lot by simply um, practicing a lot in actual paddles I'm not suggesting you do that but that's how I learn uh, but it's, I used to uh, practice a lot more here with these uh, NPCs and uh, there's a couple of things I'm looking for that I'm l trying to learn um, stuns are very important in PvP so this will stun okay and a lot of builds will have a stun i i don't remember them uh you know if i put on a new build i i won't remember which one is the stun and i just i just need to play it a lot practice it a lot in order to get the, the feel for it um that pull that he did there angies will do that and they will interrupt your finish that's why it's important to like learn about the different professions because their downstate skills are different but this is a see I like seeing that you can do that you can I like to see what the motion is and what happens when you press a skill I like to see that that is how I learn uh, visual and whatnot okay this right here protects you and you see does that notice he wants in he went invisible um, that removes my conditions and again I just suggest that after you put a build together that you come over here and that you practice your build until you get familiar with what the uh, buttons do yes read um, unlike me and um, so this will knock him down okay that didn't work because I'm not to engage with him okay now it's take 18 seconds but um, this is let me show you one of the things that I like about um, practicing these builds after I put on a new build together this is a build that I myself am very familiar with so I'm gonna show you like what, what I like about uh, this is what I learned when I'm practicing these builds okay here we go look that right there will knock him down on his butt the shield bash will stun the person okay if I swap weapons skill number five will also knock him back and push him uh, if I do my elite that will stun him that will kick him and stun him that will stun him this is what I like to see when I'm uh, practicing a build is 
What does it do? What do the skills do? What do they look like? What effect does it have? And then uh, once you once I do that, and the more I practice it, I get uh, muscle memory with what the um, combinations are. And you learn how to protect yourself and all that. So like for example, there he's hitting at me. See, I can just do that. Now I can make him uh, take more damage, stun him. <laughs> and that's a fun, fun thing that happens too. And that's something that Revenants can do. Is push you back and interrupt your finish. But that's the end of this video. That's how to do a PvP build and how to practice it.